Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Today, we are at the Lion's Gate. A lot of people have been anticipating this day. I must admit, I myself have been very much looking forward to this day because this is the culmination of the last four years of Lion's Gate. And there gets to be some closure put. This one is about togetherness and integration. And like I say, this is this is the crescendo. This is the last act. This is the this is the where we start getting into some of the good stuff here. But what does this mean? What is this carrying with it here? Because there is a lot happening. And we've had events lately that our hearts go out to. These are some of the things that are being brought up to bring closure to things. And it seems very odd and paradoxical all the time. And, you know, we have just a lot that we feel. Part of that is actually what is happening. You can't stop your feelings. You can't stop yourself from feeling things. You can stop yourself from feeling everybody's junk, though. Everybody's garbage. Everything that people are vomiting out or exploding with. And it still doesn't mean that you won't feel something about it either. So this is, this is actually going to become a time where... It really needs a really hard look at all of the things you've been doing and waiting with that last breath, that time when the time will stand still and you could culminate everything that you've done, everything you've ever been, and it's here now. So some people are still having issues with some things. Some people are in a much better state of being. And that's excellent. But there is still stuff that is going to happen. And there are still things that you need to know about your body because many people think that this is the end. This is just the end of the end and there will still be another end to the end uh, for some other waves of people. If you've been having what feels like a prolonged, severe dark night of the soul, this is part of the time to heal your body, your mind, your emotions, your mind from the torments, your emotions from the roller coaster, not knowing where you stand, sometimes not even knowing, are you or aren't you a twin flame? Should you just give this up? You actually cannot because you have a connection at the heart that you'll never be able to pull out. But what is pulling out are the false things. Those false things may have served their purpose for you, whatever they are, and you need to give them up in order to make the space for what you are really here for. And in order to do that, it involves several things. You have to be able to open your channels in order to receive also. It's a misconcept that you always output, output, output. There will be triggers to slow you down. You will be triggered to get sick. You will feel like you die a thousand deaths at a certain time. And yet this is the end of certain things. Narcissism, okay? This word gets thrown out around a lot, sort of casually. And for some, for a clinical definition, this is actually something wrong with the neural structure on a person. But people will take it to mean, you know, they'll use it casually to use any time that someone has barked at them or pushed them away. It triggers out all of the narcissism, neglect, abandonment, rejection issues that that person will have, sometimes with just a few words. So I'm not diminishing it or demeaning it, but I'm saying that we're coming to a time where there can be an end to it. Any of the corruptions, the neglect, things that have been neglected to do. And this is on a grand scale, and it's also on a small scale. 
It is the end of conflicts. No longer will your body tolerate conflict. Conflict, fighting, arguing, constant bickering. You just will not be able to. Your light body doesn't want any. Feeling internal conflicts, feeling conflicted about things, feeling as though someone is keeping you off balance. Please pay attention because there's a lot of things that people take as a given on this journey, such as the feminine is always the long-suffering martyr. That is absolutely not truth. If you are a female, you're intended to push off and say, enough, enough, enough of you treating me like this. Okay, are you having a sense of being torn between two lovers? You're married, you met someone, you're not sure who that person is, you're torn, they're both good people, what do you do? These kind of conflicts will come to a head because you cannot perpetuate those patterns. If those are patterns that run in your family where cheating is a pattern, where there's been a parental abandonment or neglect, or financial issues because of cheating, cheating in any way, financial cheating, drug and alcohol cheating, where someone is having a relationship with everything but the family. Those patterns are not going to perpetuate for twin flame couples. If you have those, big red flag. Someone is not bringing diseases home to you, big red flag, okay? That doesn't mean you roll over and play dead and forgive and forgive and forgive. Pay attention to the things that are coming up so that these there can be an ending to this and there can be a true togetherness. And the other part of it, a proper integration of you, which belongs to you. What part of you has been used out there to prop up someone else's relationship? Are you tired of it? Are you feeling taken advantage of? Are you feeling that you've been put upon and put upon and put upon and asked to forgive, forget, take me back? I'll never do it again. How do you rebuild trust like that? I do know how trust gets rebuilt, but it won't be rebuilt with um, the old ways. You have to do it through your body so that there is full removal. Full removal means full removal. That means, yes, your body purges. What about other family issues and patterns? Okay, what if there's patterns in a family of neglect or neglecting certain things? Your family has plenty of money to buy alcohol but won't take their kids to dental appointments. Sorry, but those things are some of the things that we might overlook, but they have to change. They have to change. Because there's been far too many people in the next generation of children who are here to be with their true love and not go through those karmic cycles are counting on you to remove these family issues, these family patterns, the ancestral patterns. That includes family violence. Where do some of the violent acts that are being perpetrated come from? Sorry, but they run in families. Oh, Patricia, nobody runs in my family. Well, somehow somebody's running with it like it's the next best thing and the buck stops here. It has to stop. How do you know this? How do you know if you are having some of these conflicts going on within you? You don't feel well. You feel unstable. You feel aches and pains all over your body. You feel dizzy. You feel headaches. You feel confused. You feel overwhelmed. And mostly, if you feel put upon or taken advantage of, it's time to get this stuff corrected. Because next year, you're really going to have to put some uh, effort into it. You've been riding so far in two to three years of energies, which it has enabled you to um, get to a certain point. After this, you're going to have to muster up your own efforts in order to do some of this. So I'm talking to people who have, you know, kind of, you know, thought maybe this is just going to happen. Even people who are together. So if you look at people who you might say, well, you know, hey, what's going on over there? I see it in my own family. I see it with myself. 
I see the things that have been brought up to me and triggered out of me that just need to suddenly be addressed. My anger issues, my things that I've set aside, my things that I've procrastinated on. And it's the same with a lot of people. Why? Because we've all been in the old paradigm. Of course we have. You're coming out of it. You're coming out of it and there are new things and there are new ways and you actually have a new twin flame body which enables these things to stay off of you. But you have to maintain it. So what else about the togetherness? Well, what I will say is that when it comes to togetherness, it is widely assumed that this will be physical togetherness. And yes, it will be physical togetherness. But it also means the togetherness that you are twined within each other and you can feel each other. And because you can feel each other, you can affect each other. What your twin does negatively can and will have a positive effect on you. What you do negatively can and will have a, 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 an effect on your twin as well. Integration. When you go through periods of isolation, you are intended to integrate the connections that you need. You can only do that by getting yourself well above this level that you're at. So if you're still working with your lower chakras, that's not the place to be. You need to be in the high heart, hyper heart, and the areas that are closer around the shoulders. You need to be around this area here. Why? Because those are where the high heart connections are. How do you know that? Are you struggling with breathing? Are you feeling constricted? Are you feeling tight here, tight here, tight around your rib cage as though someone has put a clamp around you or a belt and they've tightened it? Are you feeling some pressure here, pressure here, migraine headaches? So these are the ways that you know and you and your twin together, you pull each other. If one person is angry, the anger goes over to the other one and vice versa until you wind up doing this, okay? How do you stop these patterns where you're going to shove it off? Because these are not just family issues. These are patterns of relationship. You go and look for someone to put it upon, put it upon. And then that person winds up feeling put upon. Okay. So how else is some of this playing out with this closure? Okay. Because the lion's gate is actually... Yes, it's a portal of togetherness, but some people are going to be like they've, you know, swam and they've been drowning and they're suddenly like, oh, I can't breathe. I cannot muster up any energy. I am flat out. I've done everything I can to get myself to this point. And you will go into a period that I call dying a thousand deaths. And in fact, there's a song by Christina Perry about that, which I think is very appropriate for these energies. I have died every day waiting for you. Darling, don't be afraid. I have loved you for a thousand years. Okay, you know that song. You've probably heard it. It's very twin flamey. A lot of people love that. They're like, Oh my God, this makes me miss someone every time I hear it. Oh my God, that's what I'm feeling. I'm dying a thousand deaths. Yeah. And you're not intended to keep dying and dying and dying. But it is a part of the process. And you want to be alive and thriving and upbeat. And one of the things that happens is the events of the world cause us to feel grief. There's buckets of grief from the past. And now there's still things that are happening that naturally we grieve. We miss people. We miss them. But it's going on back and forth. These patterns, this violence, we miss, we feel out of love, and we need more. And it keeps repeating. How do you bust these cycles? How do you bust the uh, process of narcissism, neglect, and abandonment. How do people get together thinking they want sex? Suddenly they want to neglect their responsibilities. Are you 
the child or the progeny of that type of neglect? Has your parent not been able to be present for you? And you've suffered because of this. They somehow resent you. They resent your existence. They don't deny your existence. They don't want to kill you. But yeah, they show you in every possible way that they somehow don't really, they, they're not acting like a parent. And you feel it. You can't help but feel it. Okay? The conflicts that come up where a part of you says, but I deserve to be loved. But why is everybody I've ever known ever left me or shown me the worst side of themselves? Why? What did I do to deserve this? Okay? These are patterns. These are patterns of relationships. Okay? Why can't I get ahead? Why are you putting in someone else's hands? Why are you able to take charge or not take charge? Why does someone else um, need to be the person to take charge for you? This is a part of the new template, and that is the integration. It is your new template. You have an absolutely new template. which doesn't operate from this level, which actually wants nothing to do with this level except for you. You're the one that is important for your higher self. How does one be who they came here to be, integrating the new template? How does someone be the love, new template? How do you heal your body, your mind, your emotions, new template? Twin flame, twin flame, twin flame, because you cannot do it without the angelic side of your twin flame. Forget about the human side, okay? Forget about, you know, those things that have upset you, because you might have to, in order to get yourself better, build up, build up your stamina, persevere, and really feel like you are living, thriving, and loving, and that you are loved in return. Every single one of you deserves love. Every single one of you is the love. And yet, it doesn't always feel like that down here. What do I do to help with this? Well, first of all, I read your body. I read your high heart. The minute someone starts talking, I can feel it. We start getting it moving because that happens a lot faster. And I have sort of a testimonial here from someone that uh, let me use some of her words for this. Thank you for checking on me. And yes, I do check on people. I definitely feel there was a significant shift. A few hours after I got home, I passed out on the couch and slept for several hours slept most of the evening. The next day I moved about and started feeling really good. My energy has felt better and I was able to make the connection between my suppressed emotions and the pains and blockages in my body. Bingo. That is exactly what I'm telling you that I work with. If there are blocks, and yes, anger can feel like a block between you and your twin, pain can just be felt as pain. I'm not here to pretend that pain isn't there, like a psychologist would, where they say, well, you're imagining, uh, maybe a psychologist doesn't say that, but maybe your family would, and they say, you're not cold. You're not in pain. Oh, look at you. You're walking. How could your legs hurt? You're walking. You're not hungry. How many of us grew up with that kind of stuff, right? We grew up with it because those are family patterns. How many people grew up with some kind of edict that they cannot leave a relationship or it will somehow be damaged? A lot of men have that. A lot of men from certain cultures cannot easily leave relationships. They're expected to pay a dowry or maintenance or something like that. In the past, a lot of men wouldn't even have a wife unless they could pay for her and essentially pay her family. Again, family patterns. We're, we're breaking all those things. In fact, they are already broken. Your new template is not sustaining these things. So the things that I help with 
If you have some things along the lines of abuse, trauma, phobias, I suggest my psyche body session. I suggest four of them spaced out so that the things can properly be addressed and you really cut down the time. And my newest session, which is the spirit subtle body session, this is especially for patterns. It is for breath and fatigue issues and addictions. Addictions can be a lot of things. Addictions can even be the things that are on your phone, like little flirtations, little things that you're like, oh, yeah, oh, look who's paying attention to me. Those can be addictive. Okay, it's maybe not the same as an opium addiction, but it can be addictive and it can sometimes affect a person's life very similarly. The thing that you need to keep in mind is what are you doing or not doing that is affecting your twin somehow? If you are not learning some of this and trying some of it with the body, you're going to keep um, sort of spinning in a certain place. And I don't wish that for you. It's up to you to get up and running with it. It's been delivered. So togetherness, what are the positive things with this? The togetherness means that you will have senses and experiences that let you know how together you really are. And I don't mean that your twin flame is some floating head up here. I mean real sweetness, real intimacy, real tenderness that you have not experienced probably, like the song says, in a thousand years. Don't you deserve that? Don't you deserve the best? Don't you deserve some of the highest level of loving help that you can possibly receive to help you move forward? I mean, the, the nice thing about this, and I'm very uh, grateful to her for allowing me to share, is that the results were achieved within hours and days, not months and months and months. And that is what I'm suggesting to you is that with the new template, there are ways that are easier and quicker. And yes, there's still a little bit of a process, okay? can't I can't uh, lie about that. There is. But I outlined for you what to do. So thanks so much for watching. This Lionsgate is um, going to be very, very important. This sets up a lot of things for September so that when the season starts to change, you can start to seal in and you're going to be sealing in with each other. And by then, you have to know how. So come and see me. Reach out. Click the links below. Uh, you can email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. So... If you have been feeling triggered or a little bit lost in this, please know I am here to help you and guide you. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Um, please subscribe if you like my video so that you can get updates. And don't wait for the next portal or season. Make it now. Thank you. Bye.